Hi, this is Mike with AskTractorMike.com. I'm with Chuck, my neighbor, and uh, and Chuck, Chuck and I talk tractors a lot. He's a he's a tractor guy. I'm a tractor guy. Uh, he bought a new tractor uh, this summer, and Chuck, there's one thing down here you don't like about it. Well, when I go to put on any of my implements, it takes a lot of time. So I wanted to put a quick attach hitch on it, and a standard quick attach just wouldn't do the job. So I'm still stuck with doing it the old-fashioned way and using up a lot of time. We did, we did a video with a quick hitch, and, and we attempted to put a quick hitch on this tractor, and it'll fit the tractor. The problem is, and this is a problem with a lot of people, your implements are different widths. And if you have different widths with a quick, the, the standard uh, quick attach for the back, uh, there's really not much you can do. So that's not the way you wanted to go. So we're going to try, uh, when, when I posted the video about the quick attach that we tried, uh, uh, I got a lot of comments from people that said, what about Pat's Easy Change? And it's a product I hadn't heard of. And I looked it up, and the more I thought about it and, and looked at it, the more I liked it, showed it to Chuck, and Chuck said, let's try that. Yeah, I think we got a winner. Yeah, I think it looks like something that's going to do the job, make it a lot easier, cut the time in half at least. And, and what, what it is is a couple of claws, and I call it kind of an eagle claw system that's going to pick the implement up. The top link is not going to be a part of this. It's not like a, a, a quick hitch on the back where the top link and the lower links are all connected. But you still got to get off the tractor to hook up the PTO shaft anyway. So you're going to you're going to hook up the PTO if you're using a cutter or PTO implement and the top link at the same time. And and that saves a lot of time not having to line everything up. Yeah, I think that'll work real well for me because, like you said, to, to hook up the top, I've got to get off anyway. So it's only going to take a couple extra seconds to hook up the PTO. And, and we've ordered the Pat's Easy Change system, and this is what it looks like. And um, we ordered an option that goes with it, and that's a... Um, a, a stabilizer bar that goes across the top and chuck you've looked that over what that that's that's going to allow you to adjust for the different widths of your implements yeah because i know i've got about three different widths for the three different implements i have and with this i can put markings on so before i go to attach it i can do the adjustments so i should be able to just back right under it then and not have to worry about getting off again to readjust we're going to show the process today of putting Pat's Easy Change on this tractor. Let's get started. All right, here we are at the back of Chuck's tractor. We have very limited tools, and I don't think you'll need much. That's not the hammer we really want for it. It's a hammer. But I think the toughest part of this, there's a, there's a uh, uh, spacer. Shim plate. Yeah. A shim, that's what I'm looking for. We've, we've already measured the shim to find out which shim. There's two sets of shims that go with this, a thick set and a thin set. And once we have the right shim, we'll just put it underneath this. And uh, I think line, there's a roll pin that it has to go through to make it make it fit. And I think that's going to be the toughest part to getting that roll pin through, but maybe not. Why can't, we, why can't we put them in flush and then go from the top? Well, I mean, put the pin in then with the plate in here and slide it on. Oh, I see what you're saying. So we could actually start these. Yeah, start it with the... That, I think that'd work. Yeah, I'm not a big roll pin fan. Perfect. Oh yeah, I like that. Now I think that... This that way? Yeah, I think it goes in that way. Okay, so what we did here is we're going to take... There's a, the shim and the roll pin. We're going to put the, the roll pin in the shim first, and that'll make that a heck of a lot easier to get on in. Okay, so we're going to put that. Which way you got yours? I've got it. You got the long side I've in? I've got it long side in. Okay. Yeah. So, so we put what we've done here is put the, the, the roll pin in and put the, the long side in so there's a little gap here. And then we're going to put, put our, our uh, quick hitch on the back. And then these pins go in, and they go the 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 hole goes to the inside, so the optional spacer can go in that. Checks a little quicker than I am. And then there's a, a cotter key that goes in the end of that. And they're they're dead level right now. You need that. Yep. And we'll bend that back in a minute. Now the next thing we need to do is there's four jam nuts, uh, bolts with uh, nuts on them. 
that we need to use as jam nuts on both sides to get it we want we want the pat's easy hitch straight back and level uh, where this is centered and that won't take very long to get done Mine are almost Yeah, yours are perfect. good. I thought I had mine until I looked at yours, and now I'm looking at mine, and they're not. Well, I was a precision machinist, you know. Yeah. Well, I... <laughs> and, to, and to further make it, make it strong, we're putting these uh, U-bolts on, and then uh, they're double nutted on. We, we, one, one nut, and then another nut to lock it on. These things can't go nowhere. Yeah. You know, because that's holding that down. The shim is as far as it can go up, and the pin is holding it on. I mean, I think this is a great setup. I, I mean, sure, I sure think you'll like this better than the <laughs> yeah the quick the the quick hitch. I think it's going to work great because I can adjust the top bar to whatever distance I need. Yep. And. Uh, so anything that fits in here is going to work. Dad's old Massey tractor that had no option for uh, extendable link arms and mm -hmm. this would sure make hooking up easier. Well when you first told me about this and I looked it up online I thought right away now this looks more of my circumstance which I would think would be the average yard person okay here's how it actually works there's a little keeper there and you could pull that up and put the keeper back in and it stays open and if you put the keeper over it's it's not going to let the uh, implement come out Yep, there you go. Now, one thing we ought to say, uh, Chuck, uh, don't forget this guy right back here. Uh, these arms are gonna make your, your uh, width back to your brush hog about, what we say, about probably three to four inches longer. Yeah, I think about three inches. So we probably need to check our PTO. If our PTO is too long now, we may have to cut a piece off of it, but three, three inches is not, is not very long. Okay, now Chuck is gonna show the, the optional uh, spacer there, and this is not designed to stay on when you're using implements, but that's gonna, that's gonna adjust the width uh, that you need to uh, put it on the implement. And again, we're talking about putting marks right here uh, he's got two, two or three different implements, and, and probably everyone will have a different width, and so I have different marks on there. And then he'll just put that on, and then back up to his implement, hook up, take that off, and then off he's off he goes. And now we'll show you how it works. If you, ha if you have an implement with open pins like this, there's also some washers that are bent in the, uh, in the Pat's Easy Change kit to put on, and that gives support on this side and on this side for your Pat's Easy Change system. Those are included with the kit. Nice, nice touch. Okay, we've got the, the uh, Pat's Easy Change system on Chuck's tractor. Chuck, what do you think? I think it's going to do the job. It looks like it uh, worked real simple and it was easy to put on for someone that didn't know what they were doing. Took us about, well, maybe under 15 minutes for sure to put it on. We hit, we kind of read the instructions, had all the tools ready, but uh, it didn't take long for two people and one person could probably put it on in under 30 minutes. Yeah, I would think easy. Probably 10, 15 minutes for the first one and about half that for the second one. 
And I want to tell everybody, I, I wondered if this would work, if you had the extendable link arms, if this would work on a tractor like that, because I didn't think there was space to, to put it on. But uh, here's a picture of me checking it on my tractor with the extendable link arms, and it'll even work on those. So uh, if you don't like the way yours hooks up, uh, this is another option. Uh, full disclosure here, uh, Pat's uh, sent me this quick attach system to, uh, to check. And uh, I told them that I'd like to sell it on my website if I approved it. And from what I see, I approve it. I'd like to come back to Chuck maybe this summer after you've had a chance to use it and find out what you like and don't like about it. But uh, I like it enough that I'm going to offer it for sale on my website. If you want it, go to asktractormike.com. And Chuck, will check back with you and see how you like it. Sounds real good. Thank you much. Thank you, Chuck. I survive on web traffic. I'd be honored if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my Facebook page and share this video with other tractor enthusiasts. If you have questions or comments, put them down below. We'll try to answer them. Thanks for watching.